I've been doing these sponsored Plex tutorials every month or so for a couple years now, and one of the most common questions I get asked to make a video on is, why buy a Plex Pass? Or what the benefits of Plex's premium tier are? And I've kind of shied away from that topic because I feel that it sounds a bit more salesman -y than I'd like. And I, you know, I like doing these sponsored videos, but I want to offer value and not just try to convince you to buy something. That's not why I'm here. But we're going to tackle this from the opposite side today. What all can you do with the free version of Plex? or, you know, without having to pay. And then maybe we'll touch on why a Plex Pass might be worth it for you, but spoiler alert, not everyone needs or would want it anyway. As always, this video is part of a sponsored monthly tutorial series I do for Plex. All opinions and so on in this video are my own, but I make it clear regardless. I do have affiliate links in the video description where you can get a free Plex, sign up for a free Plex account, or get a purchase a Plex Pass for yourself, or gift a Plex Pass to someone else to let them know to keep supporting the channel, so please, please use them if you do sign up. So first off, normal use of Plex in general is free. You can download Plex, run a server on your computer or on your, on your NAS, run the app on your computer or TV or what have you, and it's free. You can ingest and organize and get metadata and titles and artwork for all of your music, movies, TV shows, anime, photos, organize them all nicely and neatly and use their awesome interface to do so. Keep a nice library and watch list and make playlists and things like that for 1080p, for 4K, old 480p Blu-ray or DVD rips. You can do all of that for free, which is what most people want from it. You don't gotta pay. Just go use my link, sign up, download it. You're good to go. You can also stream to your devices anywhere away from home. So you can, you know, have a server set up at home and then go on vacation and still watch your media from there if you have it set up properly. The Android app does have a fee, a cost to purchase it if you are on the free plan, whereas it's provided free if you have a Plex Pass. But otherwise, use of that service is free. Good so far. Casting and flinging between devices for use of the Chromecast or whatever sort of casting technology your devices may have to like start on your tablet and fling it over to your TV and things like that. All of that's free. If you are using it to organize your photos, you can favorite photos, add tags, add metadata, comments, locations, things like that, all for your photos for free. There's a media optimizer, which will create a new, kind of like proxy files of your imported files that are make it easier to provide smooth and buffer-free playback and streaming on any device. So you can optimize it for smartphones or optimize it for your PlayStation or what have you. That part's free. You can create music or video playlists or import iTunes playlists. You get access to the Plex News category, which organizes Plex new or news sources from a bunch of different media sources and puts them together for you. That's free. When you are streaming away from home, that connection is encrypted and protected, so you don't have to worry about any of that, even with the free plan. Discovery features to find stuff that you forgot was hidden in your library, like, hey, you haven't seen this movie in a while, or this movie's related to this movie, things like that. That's all provided for free. You can remote control your Plex library from your phone or tablet, regardless of where you're playing it back, pretty much. You can share photos and video libraries with your friends. So you can, if someone else has a Plex account, you can invite them to share to your library and stream it. Oh, you have to stream it over your internet connection, but you're able to do so. There's some sort of virtual reality features available for free. I've never heard of this. This is news to me. We might look at that in the future, but apparently that's free. <laughs> and then you can, on some devices, get voice control over your Plex library controls, which is pretty cool. And then podcasts. Podcasts, their new podcast service is available for, you for free as well. So, like I said, most of the service, most of the functionality that 90% of people probably want out of Plex is available for free. Download using my link and you're good to go. Plex Pass comes with some of the more advanced features or early access to features. So with photos, you get auto-tagging of people or location and it has facial recognition so it can tag who's in the picture, which is kind of cool or kind of creepy if you're a privacy nut. So... You can disable that or not enable that in the first place. It's opt-in, I believe. Uh, Plex can give you a nice little timeline view of your photos organized in an aesthetically pleasing way. If you like sorting through photos or showing people them, you can have it organized more neatly with Plex Pass. Uh, with Plex Pass, you can use Plex as a photo and video backup for your mobile device and have it automatically sync your camera up, you know, do the automatic camera upload stuff from your phone camera roll as I go to drop it there to your Plex media server with Plex Pass. 
pretty cool. There's a service called Plex Mix, which will automatically generate, I don't know why I'm holding my phone up now to be honest, it will automatically generate cool playlists of your music based on the moods and things like that that you want. So you can have like a workout playlist that generates songs based on that, things like that, which is pretty cool. Now. You can also get timed lyrics to play back with your music if you're into karaoke or just want to read the lyrics, I guess. The cool thing that everyone, I think, was kind of rushing to Plex Pass last year or 2017 was for the live TV and Plex DVR stuff with a TV tuner. I covered it with HD Home Run stuff in the past and I still have mine set up. Actually, I need to set it up again, but I still have my stuff for it. You can stream TV over the air or they do have some cable service decode boxes as well. Uh, you can stream your TV service that you can pick up into your network into Plex and then Plex can actually record TV shows based on a normal DVR like schedule. You get a ch channel browser, things like that. It is pretty cool and you can do all of that with the Plex Pass only. So. There's that aspect. And then there is mobile sync, which will let you sync your photos, videos, music, what have you, to offline files on your mobile devices to watch offline, say if you're on an airplane or at a hotel or something like that. Syncing that up is a PlexPass feature. Now, with PlexPass, you can also set up multiple local users. So you could always share your Plex library with other Plex users over the internet or you know things like that with the free plex but if you want multiple users so you can set up like a family profile and a kids profile and a mom profile and a dad profile that all have their own separate watch lists or parental controls all of that is plex pass restricted so that's something to note and then for movies they have a feature that can bring in the extra like behind the scenes clips and trailers and things like that for movies that is plex pass restricted as well i will have some links in the video description that sort out the free versus paid features. In my opinion, it's very disorganized. Like you have a music feature, then photos and videos, 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 music again, photos again. Like it's it's really super unorganized and hard to track. So I tried to condense it here and make it as understandable as possible because I really don't like how, the, how they have it organized. But again, most of the features are free. In all likelihood, you don't need a Plex Pass. You can just download Plex and use it. Go for it. Have some fun. <laughs> the big thing though that makes Plas, Plas? Download Plas today. <laughs> the big thing that makes Plus. The big thing that makes Plex Pass, I said it right this time, seem more worth it is that Plex Pass holders get early access to new features that are still in testing or beta, and even access to features which start out paid or when they're you know in beta, they're Plex Pass only, and, and then, then end up free later. So it seems like you get early, you know, you have access to all this extra stuff that free people don't, but that's just because you're testing that early with a Plex Pass earlier than the free users can get access to. And so that's part of what kind of skews the perspective there. But again, links to support tick or the support information for it is in the description below. If you do sign up for free or with a Plex Pass, please use my links to let Plex know to keep supporting the channel, things like that. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. Hope this answers the burning questions I've received a surprising number of comments about. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education. I'm Aples Fox here to make tech easier and more fun. I'll see you in the next one.